Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I wanted to check out the new MGBA update. So as you guys might know, MGBA on the PS Vita, it's okay, but it's not amazing. There's like a few frame glitches and stuff like that. Sometimes the gameplay just isn't exactly good quality. But there has actually been an update which apparently improves this. So I want to install it, check it out, and see if it actually has. So if you guys want to follow along and get MGBA as well, all you want to do to start off with is go ahead and open up Vita Show, go and press select. We need to connect our PS PS Vita to our PC, so go and do that and I'll show you guys what to do next. So I will leave a link to MGBA in the description of this video. This is version 0.7.2 and this was updated around three days ago. So there's loads of emulation fixes for this. Um, they've actually fixed it for the 3DS, the Wii and the PS Vita as well. If you wish to read the emulation fix, you can go ahead and read all of them. There's quite a few for like different Game Boy Advance memory fixes. Um, there's other fixes as well. As you can see, there's fixes for the 3DS, there's fixes for the Wii, a fixed aspect ratio. I think I have made a video on this on the Wii before but anyway if we look at MISC um, you can see it has PlayStation Vita and it said improved frame drawing speed now hopefully this should be quite a good fix because if you guys remember last time the frames were kind of a bit laggy they're a bit slow a bit glitchy as well so I'm going to download it test it out and let's see if there are any improvements so if you guys want to get the VPK, all you have to do is click on downloads right here on the download section and then you just want to find um, the homebrew section right here and we can just click on PS Vita and that's just going to download so it just downloads a 7-zip file so you will need RINRA or 7-zip to open it but let's go to our downloads and let's find it in here so we're going to get the zip file we're going to right click and just select extract here it's then going to extract it into a folder for us but all we need from the folder is the mgba.vpk so we can simply get this and drag and drop that on the root of our PS Vita we also need some Game Boy Advance ROMs. It's up to you where you decide to get your ROMs from. I have got videos on how to back them up on my channel, but I've just got Spyro 2, and I'm going to put this in my ROMs folder. So I've already made a ROMs folder. It's got a Game Boy Advance folder in. Um, really, it doesn't matter. You can pretty much put this wherever you want, but I'm just going to put it in there so I can find it. And yeah, that's literally it for the computer. So let's disconnect our PS Vita. Let's go back onto it, um, and let's see if there are any improvements. So all we need to do now is go onto our UXO or wherever you put your VPK file and we just need to install the MGBA VPK. So I'm just going to press X, X again, just like normal, and we're just going to install this. Now it should only take a couple of seconds. It's a pretty small emulator. And once it's done, we can just close out of each shell and let's find MGBA um, on our home screen. So here it is. All we want to do is just go and just start this up. Now it's a pretty basic emulator, but it is actually pretty good. The first thing it's asking us to do is locate our game. So mine is on my UXO, so I'm going to press X. We're then looking for my ROMs folder, so mine is down here. Press X on that. Now I need to find Game Boy Advance, and here are my games. So I'm going to try Crash Bandicoot 2 first. I know this was kind of glitchy last time, so let's just press X and we can go and load this up. Now as you can see, mine is actually on full screen. To edit this, if yours isn't, you press triangle, you go down, you go into configure, press X, and if you scroll all the way down on here, you will find screen mode. So there's several different screen modes. There's stretched, um, with background, that's probably what your one is on. Your one probably looks like this, but obviously it's better to change it to stretched. It just looks a lot nicer. So I'm just going to change mine to that. Uh, this one's stretched and click on save and that works perfectly fine there's also other settings we have on here obviously frame script show um, frame rate we can actually turn that on if you don't know what frame skip does it just skips out the frames but it just doesn't really look that good when playing it kind of speeds up games i guess but let's just save that we've got a frame counter on as well so we can see and right now it's um, 52 fps so that is very good but let's just press start new game and let's test this out see if it's laggy or playable so obviously the sound works with all these games as well. Um, oh, you can also press square. I just realized that. You can press square to change it, and it's a lot easier. Obviously, you can get the original Game Boy Advance screen as well, but um, stretch just looks the best for me. So yeah, um, X is pretty much A, and um, circle is pretty much B. And so far, this is actually really, really good, really playable. Um, obviously, the sound works as well, but I'm just leaving the sound turned off. Yeah, this is actually really nice. I will test out Tekken as well um, and see if that's a bit glitchy. But so far, I'm actually really impressed with this. 
So yeah, so far, just some quick gameplay. Really, really good. Um, really playable. No lag or anything like that. The FPS counter is kind of hard to see, but it's pretty much 59.94 FPS, which is obviously, you know, quite high. Uh, press A two times to jump higher. Oh, there you go. So yeah, let's test out Tekken as well. If we press triangle, we can go down to exit game and press X. Um, there's actually a few other options you can do with triangle as well. But let's try Tekken Advance. Um, and there you go, it looks like I'm already in the game. I was actually testing this a bit. Now there is actually kind of one thing I've noticed which is kind of annoying with Tekken Advance. If you have a look at the shadows, they're kind of flickering on and off um, a bit. I don't know if it's like that on the actual game. I don't think it would be. But apart from that, it's completely playable. So I'm really impressed with this update. Definitely download it if you have the previous version because it's just a lot better. And um, yeah. So that is pretty much it for this video. The PlayStation Vita is definitely very good for playing Game Boy Advance games now. This emulator um, has got quite a few improvements and it's really good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.